The KRQE News 13 Sports Desk with Van Tate. As we told you in an earlier broadcast, the Lobo football family is grieving tonight after the death of one of their own. UNL football coach Bob Davey announced the death of Lobo defensive lineman Najee Flowers in a press release early this morning. A cause of death was not given. The registered junior ward number 93 and was a presence on the Lobo's defensive line. We spent time with Flowers during fall camp asking him what was his favorite play on the field. My favorite probably getting that sack that nobody expects. Every is just like a, you know, a third and nine or something and everybody's just like, it's just going back and forth and then out of nowhere, just a strip sack or, or a big play. Flowers also known for his smile was only 21 years old. Lobos are scheduled to play the Air Force Academy Saturday at noon. We asked UNM Sports Information Director Frank McCragliano if the game was still on. He said it was for now. Heather Dyke and her Lobo women's soccer team will play another day. The Lobos, a four seed, get a golden goal from Lalani Baker in the 99th minute to end the match against a five seed San Jose State in overtime at the Mountain West Tournament in Boise, Idaho. The Lobos now advance to the semifinals where they will meet top seed Boise State Thursday. That match, a 2 p.m. start. College basketball started at various places around the country today. Tomorrow it will start right here for Paul Weir and his Lobos. Fans will get a chance to see a revamped Lobo squad compete against an outside opponent for the first time when they host Eastern New Mexico. Some of the players, due to injury and the transfer rule, have been waiting a year or more to suit up in Cherry and Silver. I mean, we got a lot of new guys, but like the thing about it is we don't have like a lot of like new people like everybody's you know what i'm saying pretty much being here you know what i'm saying so everybody knows like all the plays and everything like that so uh that's like that, that, that that's an easy fix and you know what i'm saying guys are meshing well the lobos got an early look at themselves in a competitive environment with a pair of scrimmages one against the top 10 team they say it was helpful in preparing for the season I think both two scrimmages, I think that was good for us, a good idea before we get going and to get defined, get our real identity. I think we really did, and I think we showed that we're a real good defensive team, and I think it was a start, and happy to get it, get it going here soon. The Lobos at Enum, you have a 7 p.m. start time at Dreamstyle Arena tomorrow. The regular season starts for Lobo women's basketball tonight against UC Riverside, and if you saw any of the exhibition games, chances are that you remember guard Najla Howell. The redshirt senior transfer from UTEP torched Eastern New Mexico for 18 points and 10 rebounds in a final tune-up. She says she likes to play like retired NBA superstar Kobe Bryant. Kobe's a pretty uh, dynamic player, so he's very versatile, um, and he's good at breaking down offense, so I, I try to break down uh, the defense and uh, manipulate them as best way I can. The Lobos and UC Riverside tip at 7 p.m. at Dreamstyle Arena tonight. And what do you do for an encore after a 31 season that brought you a league, regular season, and tournament title? WAG defending champion and conference favorite New Mexico State will start answering that tonight against Western New Mexico. The Aggies played Final Four team Auburn down to one possession in the tournament, but with the full staff, they're coming out of the gate with injuries, but thankful to get on the court this season. Regardless of where you're at, you know, with your team, uh, when you start the season, that newness, that freshness, that, you know, what lies ahead is, is fun. And, um, you know, that's where we're at. The Aggies in Western New Mexico start at 7 p.m. in Las Cruces, working on getting highlights of that game for you. That's a wrap for us. More sports coming up on Fox New Mexico at 9 and on KRQE News 13 at 10 on Channel 13. We'll see you soon.